everyone, and welcome to Mission 5 of Metal Slug X, where the game forgets the Metal Slug game and pretends for at least a brief moment that it's Resident Evil. I remember oh. asking James, are we there yet? Living in the city. There's so many people. Oh, dang it. Oh. This game can feel like that, but honestly, I do still think like the worst offender of that by far is Metal Slug 3, where one level literally goes on for like half of the game length. Yeah. At least it feels like it. Yeah, no, the final level, we talked about this, the final level could have easily been three split levels. Split into two. Or, well, yeah, three levels are split into two. Whichever the case, we'll get, we'll complain more about that later. But anyway, welcome to, welcome to Mission 5, where we're in the city, and, well, I mean, granted, we're still, it's still the typical shooty-shooty-bang-bangs as usual, and a whole bunch of carrots fly out of that truck. Carrots! What? I love that they gave the I love that they gave this tank a neck so that if it gets hit it just goes oh, and like reels back this tank. Yeah. Uh oh, uh -oh. jump out, jump out. out. I'm gonna die anyway. I might as well go down fighting. Look, oh Jesus. You're just standing there. there. Wait. Wait. You're just panting the corner uh, there. Be careful the oh. No. I was kinda hoping I'd get killed. <laughs> I don't wanna like... live I don't wanna live like a fat bitch anymore. It's, I don't wanna live here anymore. <laughs> I don't wanna be fat anymore. <laughs> oh you can't do Oh that's right, I remember that bit. What was that from? It's from a ASTF movie. Oh right. <laughs> Sorry, continue, James. Okay, did. so I will admit I did I did kind of blow my blow my load earlier earlier um, in the fact that what? well we're not quite in we're we're still we're still at the middle slug portion of this level because you know we still got to shoot up a lot of bad guys and uh, you know say say whatever's left of this here city but let's just say that things do take a bit of a dark tw they take a bit of a dark twist later. Oh, uh, Devil Damon, you missed the power up. Yeah, oh, well, we did. Get out of here. But, Into the tunnel. Some more out in the subway. What's that in the background? Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, I think that, that caught us both off guard. Yeah, I honestly yeah, didn't like forgot a... that was even a thing. Yeah, it looks like a plane height, but I'm not it, sure where uh, it's going. It kind, of, it kind of looks a little too wobbly to be a plane. Hmm. Oh, there's an apple that's just that fell was, off. That was okay. fitting. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Look at her with her big ass. Hey! Don't laugh at her. That's wow. what you get from laughing at the bear. backpack girl. Oh, it's a teddy bear! She's the one that's delivering us our good, goods oh. in these harsh times. Oh, and, uh, for, uh, this, for this portion of the level only, the laser gets a bit of a boost. I remember oh, how annoying this was. I was yeah. going to say, that was a, say, that yeah, was that a was crazy a, boost. I, Power. I, I, I want to wait till. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I hope we get again, because I just want to say the thing. Okay, go. Cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get it. In, get it. Just... It's just that, yeah, like it's like they decide for the subway level in particular. They just want to make the the width of that thing like it's a chunk laser. And yeah. I assume, and, and I assume where Celia's going with it is that it ends up being a bit sore on the eyes. Well, kind of. not only that, but uh, this is also we're currently kind in of the a subway. Bullet hell. And what else do you expect in a subway? Oh yeah, no, also bullet hell. Yeah, a lot of people firing all at once. Thank you don't you. really know what to avoid. Yeah, I don't color blaster. Hey, I don't... Damn it. <laughs> and there you go. It's so easy to lose your weapons once you get them. Yeah. What? Final color blaster. <laughs> um, man, that is kind of hard on the eyes. A little, yes. All the blue and reds. Just be happy there's no white attached. Yeah. Oh, it God, that would have made it worse. Screen a bit. A little bit. Well, that just happens in any Metal Slug game. All their sprite work is way too much. In what the? Uh, what's with the lights? Oh, God oh, damn it! Back stop away, it. Jimbo! Stop the car! Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm trying to get back so I can shoot him. You did it, Dharma. You saved the pig. The, the, the pig was driving the train. <laughs> what was he driving the, the train? Oh, jeez. Okay. They said I could never teach a pig to drive. <laughs> By the, oh, way, fun, fun. Go ahead. By the way, quick fun fact: uh, the pig I do believe counts towards uh, gaining gaining big mode. You just gar you just scarf the damn thing down. I guess. You okay. Just wow. I mean, it, it is it is nice it is nice pork. But you have to cook the pork. You can't just eat it raw like that. You but can't yeah, eat anyway. raw pork. <laughs> Where's meat for the jerky? You have to buy some. Oh, fooey. What was that from? <laughs> Freakazoid. Oh, okay, I gotta do that. Cosgrove, how come you never got married? Because I, I like, like me too, too much. You can, you can get, you can still marry and eat a lot of meat. Honey, why is the baby on fire? Why me? Why This is the part of the episode where we just kind of quote other random stuff we've been thinking about. But, um, other than that, I'm trying to think, like, 
I never. I honestly never really played too many other SNK games. Like I never really yeah. owned King of Fighters. What? I only want. Did you want see that? As, as soon as I died, one of the soldiers is pointing and laughing. What a jerk! Uh, yeah, no, that guy in the back. He just oh. <laughs> they ran. Got ran over by a tank. It's funny. And then he dies <laughs> immediately. <laughs> that's it. That's his. That's his comeuppance, bitch. They make the they they do have they do have fun with these wacky villains making them yeah. like making them like again making them pretty much cartoonishly reprehensible oh and behind you. Back. I mean they're I mean yeah they're 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 probably the, mo the most pathetic looking looks you'll ever find in a video game. It's just a shame that despite their despite them looking pathetic, they can still kill you in one shot if you're clumsy. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah I mean that's driving that time. another one. Yep, and this time they start dropping mooks as well. And be careful because they can melee you just like you do them. And nice. I think from the, I think I remember. He, I got it. Remember, I remember from this. I told Celie to literally just aim, have her aim for the moves while I take care of the train. That's fair. And chaser rocket launch air. Another one. Yeah, yeah. This is where they really start bringing out oh all the all the trains. <laughs> <baby>. <laughs> there you go. I, I don't think you can punch the train. Whew. Try me. I can do anything. Ouch. Nice. But, uh, I kept thinking it? the subway was going to just land on top of us and kill us both. There it goes. Fine. Uh, let's get out of here. I'm sure, yeah, nothing, uh, I'm sure it can't get any worse than this. Oh, oh. my god. I think I spoke Resident too soon. Evil. <sighs> this oh, is... trust me. It, it gets even more Resident Evil. Just watch as we go inside. Okay. Let's this... see. Oh, we got These thingies. Yeah, it is straight up liquors. You also, can't hi. kill me. So, from what I remember hearing about the lore, these were all genetically made from some sort of e evil Martian energy. Oh, so, okay. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Like, it's kind of revealed in the third game that, like, they're using alien energy to create all these weird, like, undead, like, supernatural stuff happening everywhere. Pretty much, yeah. And this is pretty much like the whole quote unquote progenitor of it. Why are these guys supposed to be zombies? I, yeah, they're 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 mo they're kind of like zombies though. These guys are also rather rather vicious in that if you leave them alone for too long, they grow red and then eventually explode, and that explosion will hurt you. So be uh, very careful and use all the firepower you got, which is why it looks like James is waiting for see the bullet on the door while he takes out the mooks. <laughs> oh, uh oh, took out one of your like cannons. That, just like that, that fucker already blew up one of my guns. Oh jeez. Yeah, no, this is and getting pretty... Oh, yay. lordy. No, I'm, just, I'm just... I'm a robotic player, player please. At least Melee Strikes kills them in one hit. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do with that mook? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, no, this is probably where most people are going to lose a lot of lives if they're not careful with the, how many they throw at you unrelentlessly. Yeah, difficulty balancing could have been better here. I think we thought it would be a good idea to take care of the ones who got to us before taking out the gate. Yeah, which, I mean, in hindsight... There's still going to be mooks coming from that way Whoa. as well. I mean, look at that. And my gosh, this hype said earlier, the screen can't handle this. Nope. I'm surprised we got past this. I'll say. I mean, it's also a good thing this is literally, like, we're already at past the halfway point of the game, so... Yeah. And I don't think it gets any... I don't... I want to say it doesn't get any crazier than this, but then again, we still have the, the worry about the Martians. Or, excuse me, the Mars people, as they call them in this game. <laughs> I always got to make that that clear distinction. <laughs> oh, that's boy, and then immediately I'm, shoots him down. I avoided him because I thought he was a mook, and I was just like, "Oh, he's just a prisoner. He's harmless." That would suck, though, if you if it was possible to shoot down shoot down the survivors. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. It's like, I mean, already, I mean, we already mentioned mentioned earlier that friendly fire would not fit in a game like this. No, it wouldn't. See, it sounds like he's saying lawn chair. Fucking long chair. And it's now fine. this boss, I believe, is a callback to the uh, one from, from the one from the um, icy area in the first game. Let me see. Is it the boat? Yeah, it's the boat. Oh, oh it dang, that is oh, the big boat. Oh, that's right. I will. Is and um, got to leave a little bit oh, of an boy. epilepsy warning for you folks out there watching this. Because it has its love, giant laser beam back. I would love if it was. I would love if it went further, and it's like the exact same spies in the first one, but it just has a giant band-aid over it. Ah, dang it! <laughs> that does sound like something that Metal Slug would do, is don't worry, we can repair it. <laughs> I'm, try I'm, I'm trying nice. to shoot downwards, there we go. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, it's like Cuphead, you can only shoot while jumping, to, if you want to shoot down. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, he just took all that machine gun ammo. Hey, it needs more for me. <laughs> or to so, waste on the side. So other than that, though, despite it's like really steep difficulty um, curve, like is this something that you had fun with, Seely? Yes. That's good. Oh, That's geez. Good. wow, jeez. Oh, well, I that moves a lot more than I thought it, I would. There, there's the seizure-inducing lasers. I mean, that's the thing, like, I never expected, like, all the shoot 'em up stuff to, like, be, like... But it's, like, it's so wacky, it's more of a platformer than anything. How did I not stuff. die there? I mean, I, in in really essence, frames. I mean, in essence, it's not that much different than, say, playing Mega Man. That is true, that's true. Or, 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 or a more obvious comparison, Gunstar Heroes. Oh, yeah, no, and I feel like you and I still need to do that at some point. Gunstar Heroes, oh, boy. Or, or that or Wild Guns. Oh god, yeah, it's right, all guns. We still need to do that. I mean, we can do, didn't they, we, didn't they also we have, have a, Go ahead. I mean, we have enough people to fill, up, fill in for four, four slots. Yeah, and I was going to say, yeah, because then they also have... Because then they have that recent big revitalization with uh, yeah, Wild yeah, Guns. Yeah, that, that revitalization that adds in two new characters and uh, uh, even changes up a, a few details here and there. Oh yeah, okay. Listen. And yeah, um, looking and, forward to trying that again, out. I, I still find it funny that one of the playable characters in that game is literally a dog with a droid. <laughs> a dog with a droid, and then okay, that'll be hype. And then, uh, and then there was then there was some like big beefy woman with like who, who wielded like TNT barrels or something. She mo yeah, she w she was a BBW with, with who mostly relies on bombs. That was it. Okay. Whoa. But I mean, she I was the, the powerhouse of them all, and then you still got the two, the two, the two main characters from the original game who pretty much play the same. Which is, and I don't know why. I, I still like the girl design on that, where it was like a southern belle, except she was freaking packing a Gatling gun. Oh yeah, that's still fun. And then you know, of course you got your typical Clint, your typical Clint, Clint Eastwood parody, or not Clint Eastwood, fucking um, John Wayne. Oh, yeah, John Wayne. Know if I could call him John no, Wayne Clint Eastwood and John Wayne both were, would fit that bill. I and mean, then yeah. I would and, say more, more so Clint Eastwood, considering considering the looks. Oof. So, and then... But again, was Clint Eastwood even acting during the 90s? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he had to have been. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, yeah, no, he was acting during then. Let me look up some of his stuff while we okay. clearly have time. Clint Eastwood, Yeah, because we're 90s. Clearly, clearly not in the final level of the game here. Fun this fact, is the final um, level. Oh, okay. A I might be misremembering, but I believe... Oh, oh boy. I was oh, that's right, this bridge. That's Whoa. the bridge, oh which is very, very nice for its time. Looked nice anyway, for its time, but boy, did the computer ah, not agree. Ah, shocking so much! Yeah. I was about Go ahead, to say, uh, Just going back to Clint Eastwood, fun fact for those that don't know, unless I'm misremembering, Clint Eastwood was originally going to play Two-Face in the Adam West Batman series, but apparently was the, the idea was scrapped because it was too gruesome for the show. Uh-oh. Huh. Wait, wait. Really? Was, it, was it Clint Eastwood? Well, no. Well, not for the anime movie. I'm talking about back when the 60s show was actually still running. Oh. oh, oh, the old, oh, the old, oh, the old, oh, it's him again. Oh, yeah, this, this bastard this who... This dude. This bastard who's just... I mean, again, he's the biggest pain, biggest recurring pain in the ass throughout this I was using his invincibility frames to my advantage there. Mm -hmm. Alright, you done more damage to him, though. You almost got him. He's looking for oh. something. Ow. Screw you, man, laughing at me. Die. Oh. And get eaten by an orca. Jeez. <laughs> He survives this somehow. I was about to say, I'm one, I'm curious as to how he would survive that. I would love if he, I would love if it suddenly cut to like and like it is an Easter egg. He now has that orca as a pet. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. Anyway, so let's see what he did. Let's see what he was in the '90s. He was in Clint Eastwood was in The Rookie, Perfect World, Stars Fell on Henrietta, Absolute. Oh, he was in Absolute Power, which is a great one. I like. Uh, he was in True Crime, uh, Space Cowboys was one he was in. Which Maybe. is just a, that was about it. But yeah, uh, out of those ones, I remember liking Absolute Power the most. That was a really good crime thriller. That's anyway, fair. but yeah, no, like again, like I, whenever I see the main protagonist of Wild Guns, I just immediately think like generic, like the generic cowboy, gruff cowboy type, and the you know the the, the uh, what'd you dress her as again? Which one? Oh, the oh, the southern, oh, yeah, the southern the belle, because she, she had that dress, because she, she had a classic southern belle, like, Bo Peep kind of dress. Yeah, and yet she can still pack, and she can still pack a gun with no, with, with an all style. And I did, and I did like the style of that game, where it was less like, like, things weren't, what the heck is he doing here? Get that lawyer out of here. Oh, it's a lawyer? 
I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I, I believe it is. Or a Secret Serviceman making sure we don't look at the UFO right there. Oh yeah, I do believe this is the portion of the portion of the level where we really start seeing seeing like all the fruits of fruit of uh, Morden's labor throughout this entire game. With and all the, the alien that, forces. Yeah, the fact that he did indeed uh he did he did form an alliance with those bastards. Speaking of the devil, here they are. <laughs> Kill them. They they're aliens like and they're forces. they're aliens and they're really mean and they actually want to take over the world. And they have guns. Yep. Never d d pay no mind to how cute they may look. They want, they just want, they want, they want you. Well, they want you. These aliens, more so than anything else, these aliens remind me a lot of Paul Robertson's sprite animations. It's, yeah. pro it's possible he was inspired by them. Among other things, yeah. The sounds that they make when they die. And the fact that the way they die in general, like, it's just, it's both gruesome, yet it, it's just to a point where this game can still get away with a T rating. Yeah. Vomit well, up green like and then melt. They they Literally. melt. They vomit and they melt. It's just ooh. so. Um, that's we're almost out of here. This, if you think this is bad, just wait till you see their fate in the sixth game. The sixth game. What? Yeah. There there were more games. Again, there were more games in the third game. I think yeah, no, I was able to go up to around seven or eight. Yeah, I thought about that. About to say, but no, I, I was more reacting because like I didn't think that they. I didn't think these guys were still a thing. We kind of spoilers. I thought we kind of like. Eradicated them in the third game. Yeah, they returned eventually. Nuts. But uh, even then, I mean, I guess to spoil it now because the game's already like over ten years old. They actually, like, they do. By that point, they do have to sh like share a legitimate alliance with both Morn's army and our forces, just because uh -huh. there's an even bigger threat they have to worry about. Oh. A threat that literally do eat that do eat eight Mars people. Oh no! You have to watch him get nom. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, you get to heat, watch so him get, get nom. Just the way you put that. I mean, well, I'm trying to true. make. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it T. But yeah, no, that's unfortunate. Um, it just say E. Yeah, fair. So anyway, anyway, yeah, more make more carnage, and I'm trying to hold back a. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Sneeze. But that didn't last. Anyway. Oh, dang it, Gary. How, uh, yeah. how, many, how many deaths has this been now? <laughs> I've lost count. I don't count, know. Though. I should have counted. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Yeah, I, I might lost... go back and watch it just to count how many times I died. What I'm curious about is who, out, of the, out of the two of us, who died more? Obviously me. Yeah, obviously her. I'm curious. How many... Did they ever have a game that ever had four-player co-op? Uh, no. Dang. Darn. That would have been fun. It would be cool, but I get at the same time I realize that would probably make the game even more chaotic than it already is. Yeah, it it would really be chaotic. I mean, if you've already seen the likes of what Mario and Rayman can get away with with four player co op on a two D space, I dread to think what it'd be like for uh, Metal Slug. That's fair. I mean, at least with Metal Slug, there's no like there's not as many like bottomless pits, and the screen is mostly locked into one view. That's true. There we but go. Then imagine, all, imagine all the imagine all the fire that gets that. Gets, Whoa, uh, that was started. a nice shot. Super shotgun, and yeah, the super, I don't know why the super shotgun reminds me of the the heavy plasma cannon from Earthworm Jim. Oh yeah, the shotgun the shotgun is great, whether it be in this or the original game. Which, by the way, random thought: Did we ever hear back any more? Boom! Any more information on that animated Earthworm Jim game? Uh, nope. What hit me? Uh, some just an alien shot. I, you got that's a mighty mighty fun idea. You got sailor smack. Like I could just literally imagine one of the Mars people literally doing that, just slapping, just smacking her with her with her little tentacle. And Morden's like, "What <laughs> did I say about doing anyway? Freaking <laughs> these metal slug D's. Oh my gosh, why why can't our army send any more people? Why is it always just down to the two of us? Because we're the best. Because we're, we're not only the best that they have, but they're probably the only ones that they have. You're not the best that they have. You just are the you just are the freaking ones that are immortal and can always come back from death. So, yeah, I just picked up a pile of shit and the mushroom. That can't be a good combo. And actually, we're at the end. This is oh, literally wow. where it all ends. And, uh, I'll just let the, the scene speak for itself. Oh, oh God, I, for I forgot about that laugh. The aliens have double-crossed him. Uh-oh. Don't worry, he lives. Somehow. Oh, 
And now they shall take him back for me for many anal probing experiments. <gasps> oh no! Pretty much. I mean, he looks like he has his pants around his ankles. Yeah. And I think many people will attest to this. This whole freaking sequence right here is literally an homage to um, Independence Day. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. In the background there, all the planes firing. And... I was just about to bring that up. And don't we actually have something happen? Uh, we, we do see... Yeah, you know, what am I talking about? I do believe... If I'm correct, if not this, and definitely in the third game, we have something happen that is straight up Independence Day. Oh, no, it happens in this game. Yeah, yeah, no, it would absolutely be Independence Day. They literally, pull, they literally pulled a pair... They literally pulled an homage to uh, Independence Day. Yeah. Not just honestly, in the, not not like, just honestly, in the way that we like, unintended. Go ahead. Honestly, like if, if this game actually had in-game dialogue, they would totally have just ripped that. Like it would it would have right from the movie. It would have absolutely been the I'm back. But th yeah, they yeah they do actually pull a reference, not just a pseudo reference like we tried to do with Star Fox that one time. Uh, Poor Bill. That was beautiful. That was beautiful though. You destroyed the uh, <laughs> poor ah. al poor alternate ending of Star Fox. I know, right? It's this. How the fuck did that end up happening? It looked like it was totally safe spot too, and it's just I guess there, I just clipped some real some invisible death plane that just got me. Yeah. I don't know. That was. I mean, that was still that's still one of the highlights of all of our Star Fox related content. There was some great stuff. There was that. There was when Celia actually freaked out because she thought I was gonna lose the timer. Uh, in a, dude, in a you, you zero. Had us, you had us both on it because of that. It was a close one, and oh, jeez. Wait, wait, what are you referring to? Yeah, it was. In Star, in Star Fox Zero, when I had, when I blew oh. up the ship, when I was about to blow up the ship, and then I went back to get the goodie, and I almost, and I almost missed the countdown, but I transformed into the You almost got grazed by General Pepper and Pepper's oh. laser beam. Oh, yeah. Which, again, I still think it would have been cool if you actually just ignored all that and left anyway. Like, forget the countdown. And, and, but, yeah. Fire! But I, but, I love uh, how we're both shivering. <laughs> It's cold. We're up in the north, and uh oh, it's so, now yeah, Joran Force was the real mothership. Yep, the real mothership. Our final boss for the game, and yeah, Morton's troops have come to help for whatever that's worth. I'm sure they'll be perfectly I competent. Mean, get the help. Already. I'm not complaining. I mean, if it gets this done quicker, I'll take it. But you know, it just—it's just again, it stands as a testament to how truly pathetic these guys are. I was gonna say, is it actually doing damage to him or no? I want to say it does, but only pay, but only like very small increments of damage. You're doing most of the work anyway. Yeah, I, 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 I have to imagine it's either just just for show, or somebody like has to be like somebody has to have maybe done like a run where they let them do all the damage. But I, I can't was about imagine to say, that. I really want to see if anyone's actually let them be the ones to kill it. What I want to know is if it's even possible, because you still have a time limit to worry about. Oh. Now, oh, granted, it is doing damage. Now granted, that time, now, granted, that time limit does reset whenever <laughs> you die, but still. Oh, yeah, they even brought in a complimentary metal slug. Thank you. And the Hadouken and guy. And the Hadouken guy. Uh, Jeez, got, they're bringing uh, up all the big guns. He, he's aiming he in the wrong place, though. Oh, no, no. no, oh, no I'm watch, helping. No, watch his, hand, watch his hand. Okay, sorry. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, wait, wait. He was the one that did the final blow. Nice Oh, work. cool. And oh, I was say. And, and I was now, say. And I was say, hi, if you watch, the Hadoukas are actually leaving the signs and then going up into the air. And uh, oh, I didn't see I'm that. back! <gasps> oh, no! Oh. Poor, poor lad. Did he do it? <gasps> oh! He did wow. it! He knocked out the mothership! He died a hero! Yep. What? God bless you, soldier. <laughs> oh, hang on, the dropship's still there. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's about to blow up in a moment, but it's gonna leave us a little surprise. At least I hope. I mean, it looks like it looks like a straight. It looks like a party ball. Given. Morning. There we go. He's free. There he is. Hey! Oh. <gasps> oh no. Well, Our mission here is done. I love how I'm celebrating. Yep, because yeah. you got the most points. Oh yeah, he saw. Oh yeah, she saved oh. them. Oh yeah, she saved the Hadouken guy, which, after all, the continues means that. She actually got the highest score. Dang wow. it, Seely. <laughs> and that was our first time playing it. the game. I guess the Hadouken guy must have been worth a lot. Yeah. So that's mean, it. He, 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 is the very, he is the special one. The special one. And yeah, we're 34 done. continues. That's the end of the game. Uh, hi, uh, James saved the most prisoners, but at the very end, with that last prisoner, that's it. We did it. Seely, the remake. Seely literally sniped the score at the end of the day. And with that, <laughs> that's our, that is it for our commentary on Metal Slug X. Booyah! 
And unlike the original, unlike Metal Slug 2, uh, Metal Slug X decides to go out of its way to show off concept art of both the, I want to say of both the original game and uh, this game. Oh yeah, uh, this is that. Oh yeah, this is that crash shipped in the first level of Metal Slug One, and then and, uh, uh, this is a, this is another something I actually learned. Apparently, the what concept art is shown during the credits is randomized between four sets. Oh, that's cool. Huh. And yeah, no, just they, they definitely had a really. It gives me it gives me like such a strong like '80s anime vibe, like all the old like all the old and slightly cartoonishly proportioned tech and stuff. Well, all while mixed with all while mixed with the typical '80s fla flair of the uh, of the of the uh, wartime movie. Yeah. You know, also, kind of like, like Rambo. Also, I'm so sorry, but like the character designs in their art in their artist portraits are just kind of weird. I like three improved upon that. Here they look kind of freaky. I mean, they look kind of freaky, but they do. So <clears> they are a decent enough reflection of, of you know how they looked in the actual sprite work. True, and, and there's got more in here who looks like he's stoned out of its wits. He's like, God, I'm too old for this. <laughs> I am 30 or 40 years old, and, and I, I do not need this. this. <laughs> well, which is it? 30 or 40? Oh, oh and, it's the, it's, and it's the gutter guy. Yeah, yeah that man. guy who gets eaten by an orca. He'll be and okay. somehow comes back. Uh, that's so, that's kind of disturbing. Yeah, he's all bloated and everything, and there's... Yeah. I keep forgetting his name. I always forget Marco. his name. Marco. It's Marco. Marco Dharma, Rossi. Marco, Ari, and Theo, and Enemy's Brain. What? Hiro kun Nishino. Probably means they're AI. Yeah, yeah, some of these painting works actually look really neat. Oh, yeah, yeah no, like a lot a lot really did go into the development of these games, and it's like, it's a great series all around. But it's also a series I think is more interesting from a um, supplementary standpoint than just the outright game itself. Just with how much concept art it got away with, and some, I mean, even some of the bonus content that would come out of, like, console ports. Especially if you live in Japan. Or whatever yeah. that's worth. But, um, yeah, on that note, folks, um, naturally, as we said before, we did go out of our way to record the first three Metal Slug games, and, um, that, I mean, that still holds true, because next up on the list is Metal Slug 3, and that one, I had no part of. Yeah, that one was helmed by Celia and I, so... Stay tuned for when we're going to get to what many believe to be the pinnacle of the uh, series. Yay! Metal Slug 3. <laughs> hey, that's where it's hype. Bye. Okay. Uh, Till next time, everybody. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.